Ted Nugent recently lashed out to the Rolling Stone magazine for including Joan Jett in their list of top 100 guitar players in the history of rock and roll. While he appreciated her for being a lesbian, the guitarist strongly disagreed with Rolling Stone's decision to add her to the list and mocked the situation by saying that if Jett is on that list, he is Caitlyn Jenner's boy toy. Ted Nugent is known for making controversial comments on politics, guns, animal rights, and women's rights. In his latest live video, he bashed Joan Jett, who is considered one of the greatest rock stars in rock and roll history, and revealed his shock as to why she would be listed as one of the 100 greatest guitar players in the world. Jett has shown the world the powerful position of women in the rock and roll music industry, both by being included on the recent list and the rest of her musical achievements. Three of Joan Jett and the Black Arts albums were certified gold or platinum, and they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2015. However, these accomplishments weren't enough for Nugent to consider her among the 100 greatest guitar players. He started by complaining about how Jet could make it when Styx's Tommy Shaw wasn't listed. He then continued to talk about Joan Jet and appreciated her for her sexual orientation but stated that she shouldn't be among the greatest 100 guitar players. Ted Nugent explains. Now, Angus Young does a great job, Eddie Van Halen, awesome, all these guys, Billy Gibbons does an amazing job. Great guitars. Neil Schoen, monster. Joe Bonamassa, what a great player. Derek St. Holmes, Tommy Shaw, Ricky Medlock, all these amazing guitar players. So I just mentioned some killer monster guitar players, huh? Some of the best that ever lived. But when you see the Rolling Stone magazine, <laughs> list of greatest guitar players, they list Joan Jett, but not Tommy Shaw. Okay? They list Dave Matthews, which great guy, I, I, you know, folk music. If you like folk music, you love Dave Matthews, his drummer. What's his number, drummer's name? Um, Crunch Boy, Crunch Dog, Slam Master, whatever his name is, Bodega. Anyhow, uh, the, the, Great, great folk music. But how do you list the top 100 guitar players and not list Derek St. Holmes? How do you do that? You do that by lying. Same way you get uh, Grandmaster Flash in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You, you do that by lying. You have to be a liar. You have to have shit for brains and you have to be a soulless, soulless prick to put Joan Jett. Love Joan. I, some of my greatest memories include lesbians. I love the lesbians. It's just a, it's a cocktail of wonderment. Love Joan Jett. Um, put another dime in the jukebox, baby. Great, great rock and roller. But as a top 100 guitar players, but you don't list Ricky Medlock? Or Dave Amato? Really? Or Dick Wagner? Dick Wagner in the Frost in Detroit, or Mark Farner? Mark Farner from Grand Funk Railroad. Joan Jett is on the list, but not Mark Farner. Grandmaster Flash is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but not Grand Funk Railroad? <laughs> oh, by the way, if Grandmaster Flash is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Joan Jett is on the list of the top 100 guitar players, then I'm Caitlyn Jenner's boy toy. Are we having fun? Don't you love this shit? Rolling Stone didn't list Nugent as one of their 100 greatest guitar players, but his fans continue to support him and stress that he is one of the greats in the rock scene. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.